Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple spa facial scrubby. These things are fantastic. You just put a little daub of your favorite facial wash on here, scrub your face with it, and the scrubby fiber from the yarn makes for an amazing exfoliator. You're left feeling very clean, very refreshed, and it feels so good. Make these for yourself to give your own bathroom a very spa vibe, or if you want, make a three pack, wrap it in twine, and now you have a great gift to give somebody. It, it's great, especially if you put a little tag on it that says spa facial scrub, people are going to just feel really special. And if you're a vendor, if you like to sell your items, make these. These are going to be great for kids to buy for mom, uh, husbands to buy for wives, families to buy for grandma, or if they're looking for something to buy for a specific person and they're at a loss for what to buy them, just direct them to your spa section. This is the first item in a spa collection that I plan on making. Spa items make both you feel great and if you want to sell your things or just make things to give as gifts, the spa collection is going to be fantastic for that. Okay? If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week and you are not going to want to miss out. The materials to make these facial scrubbies, super simple. It's just the Red Heart Scrubby Cotton in whatever color you want. Crochet hook size I9, 5.25 millimeter, and a pair of scissors. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into how to make these amazing spa facial scrubbies. All right, guys, when we are working with the scrubby yarn, you'll notice that it looks very different. All of these little fibers hanging off of the yarn are what's texturizing this yarn to give that scrubby nature. But it is because of these little fibers that hang off the yarn that we are going to need to use very loose crochet stitches because these fibers, they cling to each other and they make it really hard to, to glide across each other. They catch. So when we make these crochet stitches, you're just going to want to go on the looser side. And you'll see me demonstrate that. Uh, we're going to start with a small tail. Make our slip knot. Perfect. We're going to chain 12 loose chains. One, two, three. It's okay that those chains are large. That's fine. Four. 12. Okay, perfect. So when you look at your chain, all these stitches look on the large side for sure. We're going to put our first half double crochet in the third chain from our crochet hook. So the loop on our crochet hook does not count. There is one chain, two chain, so three on the third chain. That's where we're going to start our half double crochet. Yarn over, insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Perfect. That's your first half double crochet. For row one, every single chain will get one half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. Got your three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Perfect. You will end row one with 10 half double crochets. So go ahead and finish up row one and I will meet you at the end. Great. Once you reach the end of row one, you're going to chain two, one, two, turn your work, and you're going to continue putting one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. You should end row two with 10 half double crochets. One, two. For row three through row eight, you're just gonna chain two, turn our work and put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So go ahead and continue working and I will meet you at the end of row eight. One, two, three, four, 
three. We have reached the end of row eight. I want you to just observe how even though there are holes between our crochet stitches, how the fibers do a great job filling in all of those holes. The texture is just really cool, but I also want you to notice that if you were to make a mistake in there somewhere, no one would ever know. So this is a great beginner item for you to practice on, especially with a textured yarn that you may or may not have ever played with before. Just to have a peace of mind that as long as you counted in each row 10 half double crochets in each row, it doesn't matter if you accidentally doubled up in one stitch or had to add an extra half double crochet at the end of a row because somehow you dropped a stitch and you needed to add one. It's all right, guys. These little fibers, the texture of this yarn covers up any mistakes that you may have made. It's super awesome. Okay, to make the border, we're gonna make a border to go all the way around the scrubby just to clean up the sides and make it look really nice and clean. We're gonna chain one, turn our work, and put one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end of this row, ending with 10 single crochets, two, three, four, ten. Perfect. The very last stitch, we do need to put three single crochets in so we can turn that corner and get to this side of the little scrubby. So we have one single crochet in the corner now. We'll put two and three. Perfect. Okay, every stitch that we used in this scrubby was a half double crochet. So we're just going to put one single crochet at the end of each row. So that was the end of this row. Two, we know we had eight rows. So one, two, three, four, eight. Perfect, okay. We just reached a corner, so we're gonna put three single crochets in that corner. This one counts as the first single crochet, second, and third. Great, now we're at the bottom of our scrubby, going to continue across. We know that there are 10 stitches. This was our first stitch, two, three, four, Nine. 10. Okay, this was our last space. We're gonna to need to put three in there. So that was one, two, three. Fantastic, last side. We know there are eight rows and we know each uh, end stitch was a half double crochet. So we're just putting one single crochet at the end of each row. This was our first one two, three, eight. Great. So this eighth stitch was our first single crochet of this side. We already have a single crochet in this last stitch from the very first single crochet of this row. So we're just adding the turning middle single crochet. So it'd be one, two, and three. Perfect. We have single crocheted all the way around our little facial scrubby. You're going to slip stitch into the very top of the first single crochet. Slip stitch right there. Grab our scissors. Cut yourself a longer tail, maybe about four, five inches. So again, these little fibers, they grab. So I want to make myself a big loop. Yarn over and pull through and then slowly glide that back down to form that slip knot there to close. All right, the last step is to weave in our tail. So you can choose, if you want to use a yarn needle or tapestry needle, you can use that and just weave in your work. You don't have to worry about it coming out because all these little fibers right here, they catch. So wherever you're gonna put this tail, through the inside of this work. All those little fibers are gonna to cling to each other. So it's not likely to like become loose. I'm just gonna use my crochet hook 
and weave in and out. I'm going to go in the front of stitches. Let's see if I can do this. So like between stitches here and weave that in through there, like the front of the work. Perfect. Okay, and zigzag it. Awesome. Don't keep it in a straight line, just go all throughout. That way, all those fibers just cling, cling, cling to each other. Alright guys, I think that I have woven as much as this little tail has got in it, so I'm going to take my scissors and just cut off the end of that little tail that I had left. And there we go. The tail is stuck into the work. And when you get this wet, it's going to really bond those fibers together. So that tail should not move ever. If it does, just cut a little bit more off. It's not a big deal, but it really shouldn't. Okay, well, there you go. That is an amazing facial scrub, guys. Make this for yourself. Make a three pack for a friend or sell these as gifts around Christmas time. They will work great. All right, guys, that was the spa facial scrubby. I really hope you had a lot of fun following along with me today. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here, which are just my spa collection that you might enjoy. That category is going to grow and grow as I continue to make more and more things to put in it. Also, check out this video right here, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.